You're listening to the AfterBuzz TV Network. Now the largest new media platform on the web and your number one source for after-show entertainment. Very good, Johnson. After Buzz TV. Buzz Studios in Los Angeles, California, presented by Maria Menunos and streaming live thanks to Akamai Technologies. This is After Buzz TV's Sons of Anarchy After Show. We'll break down tonight's episode and get you all the latest news and gossip. And now, another post-game wrap-up show for your favorite TV show. It's After Buzz TV's Sons of Anarchy After Show. Hey there, Suns fans. You know what time it is. It's time for the Sons of Anarchy After Show. I am Matt Lieberman, and we are doing episode 609, John 832. Joining me on the panel, welcome back, Miss Chrysaly Kennedy. Who Hi. Is finally. <laughs> finally, after a prolonged two-week absence, we've missed you dearly. Dearly. Yes, and uh, Mr. Kevin Undergaro, as always. And we're trying to figure out, you guys, is this 13 episodes this season, or is it going to be 15 or 16? I, there's I, only 11 listed on Wikipedia so far. Okay. Well, I, I think that with like all the episodes being longer, maybe that means that we're only getting 13 this year. I'm going to pull some rank. Before. I'm going to send out a text. You're going to send out a text? To someone I know who, who works at FX. Okay. Do right, it. I'll get the info. Thank but, you. But it feels like <clears throat> the way we're accelerating story and plot wise it feels like there's not too many left yeah. this right season. like i thought they were going to tease out the reveal of uh jack's finding out about tara's deception i thought that was going to take like at least one or two more episodes uh but no a lot of triggers were pulled tonight uh we're not going to be able to go back from where we are now uh we're going to get into all of it we're going to get into all the tara stuff later on i want to talk about the club first uh a deal was struck with da patterson this week that uh, we, we can kind of see the end game of this season in sight. They uh, Jax offers to give up Galen and a whole shipment of guns to get D.A. Patterson off their back, and they have 10 days to deliver. Uh, Clay is supposedly getting out of county next week. Uh, mm -hmm. In the next week, he's going to be busted out of a prison transport. We saw in scenes from next week that... That might be happening a little sooner than even <laughs> I thought, because like this show is pretty chronological. It tends to go from day to day to day, mm -hmm. so that might be moved up a bit. So let's talk about let's talk about this uh, this deal that he's making with her. Can we can we trust D. A. Patterson to hold up her end of the bargain? Absolutely not. Yeah. I mean, from what we've seen of her, I don't think we can trust her. I mean, she's been pretty sneaky and sly the whole time that she's been a part of the show. So I feel like. It all sounds great. Yeah. The deal sounds great. Terrible, you know, not have to go to prison. Like, it all sounds really great. But we know as Sons of Anarchy fans, it never really works out that way. It's always it's always messy. It's always, always messy, and she's not trustworthy. She's not trustworthy, but I do think if she gets the big giant fish. As as, uh, as Jax put it, it's a fish that's even higher than her pay grade. Mm -hmm. Yes. And Maybe I she'll put the wig back on. Do you guys think Maybe. she's driven by justice or is she driven by success? If she's driven by success, she'll take the deal. Well, we, we know she's not driven by justice because mm. she had Nero in jail for far longer than he deserved to be, knowing that he was innocent. But, but was it for the greater justice? Yeah. She, because she, she really believed the sons were involved with the shooting. Well, she knows she knows in her heart of hearts that they are involved with the shooting. Mm -hmm. Like that's She just can't prove it. I think that it's her own skewed view of it's her own skewed view of justice. She had that moment with um, with Sheriff Roosevelt this week where she they were talking about the uh, the father last week who committed suicide, and she was talking about how you know she's still she's grateful that she's still able to be surprised on this job. She's seen a lot of stuff in in her in her way up to this DA position, uh, good things and some very terrible things. I think that she started originally in a good place, but has become so desensitized uh, to the people who fall down in her wake as she tries to pursue these great justices that she's ultimately lost sight of her own humanity and made her a kind of a deadly enemy. I mean, I feel like hearing her say that she's grateful that she can still be shocked, like, made my stomach turn. Because 
she single-handedly caused that man to kill himself. I mean, basically, her putting out that news in the newspaper caused him to take that turn. Chain and reaction. she's so yeah. not affected by it. Like, so not affected. It It's her, she was just kind of cold. She was super cold. Super cold. That's why I don't, I mean, I don't, I don't know. I, I don't buy the whole bigger justice thing. I think that she's just looking to get out of the job she's in into the next bigger job with more money. Like, I don't buy okay, that so then maybe the right by, by, by getting the, the Irish could serve that purpose. Yeah. And sure. it's putting a criminal away and it's getting justice for these families. I think it's all mixed together. She's definitely not. She's definitely not doing it just for the family. She's definitely got her own motivations. She's definitely still selfish. But ultimately, this is a crime that must be answered for. You yeah. know, we don't want the sons to do it because it, it was not their intention for this to happen. It's a horrible tragedy. Um, but someone's got to pay for it. And hopefully, they'll be able to tie down Galen. My question is, wouldn't that ruin their <laughs> newly repaired relationship with the IRA if they lose gay if they give up galen and the guns and ruin the shipment i will say this i think the irish ruined the relationship themselves by what they did yeah and I he agree. was straight up with them they were dicks they picked the wrong guy we don't want to fight with the ira because they'll squash us they're just way too powerful but at the same time uh no they chose you got they sided with galen that was their choice and now they yeah. have to live with the repercussions. And by the way, it might just be Galen that gets nailed and not the IRA. But um, I think he's saving the club and he has no problem throwing them in the way due to what they did to the Suns. You don't think that this is going to blow back on them? Oh, no, 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 no. Yes, I mean, of course. <laughs> of course. But I also feel like after that last conversation, the King saw that Galen was not being so honest right. with them either. Right. So, sure. I, I mean, of course, there'll be a repercussion, but they may, and it's an eye right. for an eye. Like, they just blew up the clubhouse. Galen lied, and that's why they did it. So I feel like they'll And Connors, be, we still have as an ally. Right. I feel like there'll be a small repercussion, but not what we're all thinking because they see that Galen did the wrong thing. They may let him be the Galen. It, it may be the fall guy. Right. Yeah. He may get served up. Do you right. think that they will let Connor know before this is happening? Do you think that if they told Connor beforehand, no. he'd back them up? No, they could. Unless he's useful to them in some way. No, they can't. They don't know that they can trust him in that way. This yeah. is scary stuff they're doing. Yeah. <laughs> this it's is a huge risk. Yeah. Huge risk. Um, remember, we still have to deal with Mr. August. That's true. That's yeah. a, that's and what a happened thread. With Paul, I mean, we still have all... I, I still I'm can't believe Tig's alive, by the I'm way. I'm grateful we have all these other subplots. And I'll tell you why. Because I feel like we can resolve some of this season's plots and still have enough for another season or two with all the other subplots. That's true, but we still uh, we still have plots left over from last season. What I like about it is I think we're going to have pretty consistent action from here on out till the yeah. end of the season yeah. because like the the trigger that got pulled tonight, I thought we weren't going to get until an episode or two before the finale. We still have four episodes to go. Mm -hmm. So even after we resolve the the Irish problem, I bet we're going to see Mr. August make his resurgence for the finale. I love this episode because it's been a while since I watched an entire episode and felt like I was holding my breath. And like my mm. hands literally hurt from being in fists clenching because I was so nervous. And this was the first episode that that's happened in a while. High, yeah, high tension. Because we've yeah. had some fun. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, we've been having a little vacation. A little bit of fun. A little yeah. bit of fun. I know vacation. you, the fans, don't like hearing that because fun <laughs> being the fact that people's heads are still being blown up and yeah. people yeah. being run over. But but that aside, lighter in tone a little bit than yes. some of the episodes at the well, beginning. Well, the intensity of the we've had in the last two seasons. Yeah. You mm -hmm. know. Well, we so we've got Clay in jail, and he's supposed to call all of the buyers and try to smooth things over and get things ready for his uh, breakout in the coming week. And uh, in order to do so, he goes he goes to church and Pussy. 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 Hannibal. Yeah, uh, um, which like Ron Perlman looked like he was having the time of his so life much fun doing that scene. He just went off. And I'm curious if any of that was improvised or they just let him go. But it was like it was a great, great scene leading up to this shocking biting this dude's nose oh, off. I just like I screamed and I was it's like it, it's. 
it's just so funny. Every week they have to outgore themselves. I like know. So but gross. the shock value, it gets you yes. every time. Every time. Like, you don't see that coming at all. Like, he's going to become Hannibal and that guy's going to lose. Like, you don't see that. I know. But it's like, couldn't there be an easier way for him to get 40 minutes of alone time One in would jail? Think. Without mutilating a, a, a prison guard? Maybe if Kurt Sutter wasn't the creator, yes. Yeah, yeah. maybe. <laughs> On a different show. Right. Just saying. On a different show. So uh, he's given this cell phone. He's given 40 minutes. This, uh, this you know, dirty doctor tells him, you know, your your Mick friends aren't paying me enough for this, blah, blah, blah. So, of course, he double, he two times him. And the guard that he mutilated another guard pay him a couple hundred bucks for more alone time with clay where they beat the snot out of him yeah. um which like another thing with that gore thing we weren't expecting to see this guard again and to see like his kind of like flattened nose oh and the blood God, seeping no. out of his bandage Mm -mm. Gross. I mean, you knew he was going to get his ass kicked. You mm -hmm. knew that had to happen because the doctor couldn't have done what he did without having to be able to give the guards their time, too. Like, you knew it was going to happen, but I didn't expect it to be yeah. him with no nose. I really wouldn't and want they him took, as my doctor. They took, he was a poor man's George Clooney. Yeah. Um, they took his Hannibal mask off before they kicked his ass, too. That's true. I like the Hannibal mask. Yeah, it's uh, to make sure he doesn't bite anybody yeah. else. He's dangerous. But what, what I honestly, what I loved about Clay's uh, little storyline this week is just to see some signs of life out of the guy. He's yes. had almost nothing to do all season, you know, except we for... We have to get him out. Right? Like I want him out. I want Clay out because I want... Of course I want to. I know, but I want to see him interacting. I'm so bored of him being in the box. Yeah, we, all we've had were his scenes with Gemma, which were like, were hard to watch, right. you know, but we didn't see any scenery chewing. We didn't see any cigar chomping. Right. You know, we didn't see any scheming. I want scheming Clay. Yeah. I want Jax to ultimately defeat scheming Clay. But scheming Clay is more fun than sullen prison Clay. Yeah. You know what's fun if you're and 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 ex exciting if you're the creators of the show, if you're Sutter and your staff and your FX is you basically sat on Clay for an entire season. So he's almost been on the bench. Yeah. So if we go into next season and some of these other plots get resolved, you still have Clay. If you, you still have Clay to work with for an entire season to get him back interacting with the club, with Jax, yeah. like all the scheming. I mean, so that just creates... So much story. Right? Yes. More... They haven't burnt up any of Clay's story mm -hmm. this year. No. Yeah. Which is great because that means that he'll be one of the main generators of conflict next year. We hope. Uh, you know, I'm not, I'm not praying for Clay's death this season. No. Yeah. There's no way that that would happen, do you think? No, they've spared him long mm -hmm. enough. I, yeah. I still think that, um, Sutter just likes him. I think they, I feel like it's a personal thing. Yeah. In that, that he wants to keep working with Ron. Yeah, I do. Mean, he's I do. amazing. He's so good. He just, he's, it just blows my mind every episode where he takes it a step further and you see another side of him and it's just the fact that I can have so much hatred for his character is just it's mind blowing because he's just that good and by the way don't you guys want to see him interacting with oh yeah, so, oh, yeah. It, don't you want to see him walk into the candy store do, I want to know uh, how juicy is going to be with him I want to know what ha what Chibs is going to say to him I want to know you know Tiggy I, I want to see that I'm like salivating for that I don't want him to die oh no. yeah no it's it's so funny you're you're absolutely right Chris Lee. like it's amazing how much hate we can have mm -hmm. for this guy and yet be so delighted by <laughs> his whole pussy monologue this week yeah um and just be like I want I want him to go and have fun like I I I can't believe how much I just want to see him do stuff again. Well, He's, considering the last two years, I just wanted him dead. But I, okay, you guys know how I feel. I never wanted I him know. dead, but I wanted Pope dead, and I want I wanted all the other people, and I want uh, I wanted uh, Torque dead, and I want you know, and I want right now, um, I want Galen to pay for what he did, and I want you know, so but I don't, I've never wanted that with Clay. Yeah, I do. Well, I want to see him. I want to see everybody deal with him first, but then I'll be happy that he can die. Right. We have to earn the He has death. to get out of jail first, and then he has to deal with all the bullshit he put everybody through, and then we can kill him. Okay. So we had, a, we had another thread this week um, at, the, uh, at the candy shop 
this girl starts wailing on. Well, before Tate's that, bike. we all saw the close up, and we said, "Oh no!" The last right. time we saw a close up like that, it was school the, the boy. It was the a school shooting. So I'm like, what now? Who is this? We never want to see them introduce a random young person no. ever again. Just dread. You know. And 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 we have not seen the last of her. Yeah, I don't I, think so. There's no way that that was put in that story tonight for no reason. Like we have not seen the last of her. Well, and we'll get to that in a second because there were some clues as to maybe what her relationship to Jackson the club mm-hmm. may be. Uh, but she wails on Tiggy's bike, throws a, a pipe wrench. Tiggy, th- why me? Yeah, <laughs> come on, uh, man. Why do teenage girls hate me? Uh, <laughs> it's because he's creepy. Yeah. So creepy. It's because he's creepy and he wasn't a good dad. That's why. It's karma. Karmic mm-hmm. blowback. They, she throws a pipe wrench through the window of the shop. She takes off. Jax runs after her. She cries, raped in the middle Smart of a crowded sl- street. Smart and really inopportune for all the guys to be wearing their cuts on Main Street. And uh, and, and let me share something with the fans yeah. at home who probably didn't hear what we saw. Because we, we watch with the uh, closed caption on so we don't miss anything. And the mutter- you only hear muttering from the crowd. But when you have your closed caption on, they translate what the crowd says. And the crowd was saying things like, uh, Why don't you take your guns and your bikes and get out of town? And get out of town. And yeah. clearly showing the uh, rift and the fact that the citizens of Charming are turning on yeah. the boys. It's been alluded to a few alluded times to. a few times this season. And uh, a, another thing that's been alluded to a few times this season is that there's a mayoral election coming up. There's this, the winds of change. Yeah, Hale's are out and Oswald's Charming. in. Yeah. Well, Oswald, you know, he's he's a businessman. He has a lot of history with the club. I would call him an ally to the club. For sure. But I think he's also savvy enough that if the town was anti-club and it, it, it could almost cost him the election that he'd turn on, I could see that happening too. I could see it. You know, it, there's, been, there's been good times and bad times. A lot of this crap has just blown back on him before. They've been... Squatting in his warehouse, stealing guns out of it, and then you know he's be, put up with a lot. He's put up with a lot, and yeah. he might be tired of it. Um, so this this girl, she has a history of mental problems, anxiety, and she's bipolar. Her mother was killed in the same accident that killed John Teller, and we had a lot uh, have a lot to discuss with Gemma and John and that whole thing. I can't believe that we got some of the information that we got tonight. But the club pays a visit to her father, and they're losing their house. They're, the mortgage is belly up, and they're going through these old photos, and it's set off the girl. Jax looks at this photo of this guy and his wife when they were young and they were happy, and something sticks in his craw. He can't quite place it, but he's seen this woman before. And for a hot second, I think we all thought, like, d- okay, did he see a photo of JT For sure. and this woman mm-hmm. together? Yeah. And is this yet His another sister. yet another half sister? Right. Another I hope, teller. Thankfully, this one is young enough that he's they're not going to try to bang like in the third season. Uh, we don't want any more creepiness like that. This is not Game of Thrones. Nope. No. <laughs> uh, but yeah, potentially another half sister. We don't know. But so after uh, Jax talks to uh, talks to the father. To the, talks to the father and he talks to his his boss um, Oswald. Oswald, thank you. It's so many names. <laughs> no, I know, no, show. you're doing great though. Oh, We're you. here to help you. Yeah, yeah. After he talks to Oswald, he gets him to save this guy's house. She comes and she's uh, she thanks Jax and they have this like really tender moment, mm-hmm. you know, where he's like, I'm trying to, you know, do something for a mother, you know, who he ultimately feels responsible for. So she leaves the sweet shop. And there's this woman rooting around in the dumpster, homeless woman. And we've seen her before. This isn't the first time that we've seen her. And I don't remember what season it was or when it was or if it was this season, but we've seen her before, and Jax has actually interacted with her. I'm almost 100% sure. So listeners, if you remember this like I do, I, I and it didn't click until you started talking about me thinking that it was – Somebody that yeah, yeah, JT yeah. had slept with. And then I was like, wait, we've seen that homeless person before. Mm. And I almost think it was the episode with the little boy, but it might not be. I feel like Jax has helped that homeless woman before. Right. But here's my question. 
is that the girl's mom it from the photo? Just like her. Yeah. It was really fast and it was dark out, but it and looked like And she was like dirty. Her. Right. No Which I, but we knew outfit. the mother, and we know the mother had problems too, bipolar and such. Exactly. So, but then, but how do you fake your own death in a car accident? How do you fake your own death, and what does that mean about John Teller? Maybe okay. So I, okay, I don't know, throwing this out there. Maybe was so in love with John. John dies. She loses her mind, and just kind of goes homeless. But that's the thing, though. She's supposed to have died in, in this. In but this I'm car saying, I, okay. Uh, what I'm asking, and I know that this is a right. big Is it leap, maybe he's not really dead? Is John Teller alive? Oh. And is that our season seven reveal? Is that... How awesome would that be? Right? That's something I never would have seen coming. I mean, just, just because... I mean, I, I could care less if people like it story-wise that it's, it's too contrived or not. I could care less. I just would love to see John Teller, someone from the time machine... From the way, way back machine. Yeah, from the way back machine. Co to come forward and say, what's up today? Yeah. What the hell have you yeah. done Could you imagine with this club? Him sitting with Jax at that table. And all of them. Yeah. Tiggy, oh. really Tiggy? A2 Tiggy? Mm -hmm. I mean, to go through the whole, it would be it would be phenomenal. I know. And that's the thing. You, you say it's a move that could be potentially contrived. Like, if it Who was. Who cares? If it was, no, it. if it was a lesser showrunner then I could see it as being contrived. If Kurt Sutter went for that move, he would do it in in a such a spectacular fashion that I I, I honestly would be beside myself with excitement. It would be amazing. Oh, yeah. Because there's just so much drama, dramatic tension. I want, I want to know, I want to know what, a, what, what John Teller thinks of the current state. Well, Jax is Look trying to do what he... Look what they've done to our song. If yeah. I may quote an old song, yeah, but like, true. what have you done to like this thing I created? You know, what what has it spiraled out to? Yeah. And what what does he have to say now? I mean, it's like, it, okay, this is really like it's so I such know. a ridiculous analogy I'm going to give you, but <laughs> it's fantasizing how would John F. Kennedy deal with, you know, 9/11. You know what I mean? Okay. It's like, okay, that's what I'm saying. Oh. Uh, In I, this world. <laughs> How does JT deal with the modern stuff of t of the club of today? I know. I'm just that's off the reservation for me. I can't back. I can't back that. Play, yeah, I'm not Kev. asking you to back you. I'm <laughs> saying to me, it's how does it? How does another person yeah. character? Well, Jax is trying to right the ship. But he's not JT. I want to know how does JT deal with this? Okay. Okay. Very you know? curious. And the guy who started the club, the guy you know, yeah. the, this the guy who really knows Gemma. Mm-hmm. Probably better than Clay. Yeah. And Clay and all the guys. Yes. I mean, we're not talking about a couple generations and we've missed it. Like, all these guys know he, JT. Yeah. Like, yeah. And they, what does he think of Juicy? Yeah. In Rap Boy. Oh, God. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. it's, it's. It'd be brilliant. It'd be to bring amazing. Back. It'd be cool. He never died. But that's so messed up. Where has he been all this time? Why didn't he go to he's Maureen the, and to a, his daughter? Oh, he's like he's, Eddie in the Cruisers. Or maybe he lost remember? his memory You're and he really doesn't know where he is. You're really pulling out Eddie in the cruiser? Yeah, remember <laughs> he like pretended he died and he just disappeared? Like they say Jim Morrison did? Yeah. Oh. Uh, you know? And Tupac? Okay, now we're, we're way right, let's get off back. the Sorry. reservation. Sorry, everybody. Let's get back to Charming. Right. Jesus. Next thing we know, we're going to be talking about Labyrinth. Okay. Best um, movie ever. That's a great movie. Okay, so... Uh, before we move on, I just want to talk really quickly about iTunes. Uh, guys, thank you so much for everyone who has reached out to us on iTunes, on YouTube, on Twitter, telling us how much you love the show. We really appreciate it. And we love having a conversation with you and maintaining uh, this great discussion about this amazing show. You love it. We love it. One thing that you can do if you love our show and you want to help us out is to go on to the iTunes, slap us with a five-star rating. It helps keep our podcast searchable on iTunes, helps us stay up on the charts, helps my, our bosses know that we are doing well uh, and that you people love the show. Uh, if you don't have iTunes, another way that you can show your support is to send an email to uh, info at afterbuzztv.com. Let them know how much you love the show, and uh, we will be keep on rocking for another four weeks, five if we get an extra episode. Maybe. Fingers and crossed. And also YouTube. Yes. You know, the YouTube fans are always great, and um, 
I know you're a little tougher on us when Christy's not here. Aww. But uh, but we love it. I feel it. like you're imagining I love you guys it. Yes. Too. I feel like you're imagining I half of it. Too. Okay. Maybe yeah. I am. I'm sensitive. You're just you're sensitive. And if you're on YouTube, so I'm going to throw this at you, Marissa, in the booth. So, and this is and if you're on YouTube, you'll see these nice yellow uh, mics, uh -huh. the bumblebee mics. Okay. I just want to point out, Marissa, because you've been dealing with the guys who create these things. Yeah. The ones in Studio C. They look orangish. They don't match. So I think we need to take one <laughs> of those and one of these, the extras, and send them to England and the people who make them and tell them they need to make it right. Okay. okay. Send Making them to work Belfast. Yes. Making work happen. Anyway, those anyway. Are for, that's just for the YouTube fans who are watching. Sure. Okay. Anyway. We love when they watch us. Yes. I know. We love it. All right. So, Gemma, we've been talking for weeks about quote unquote Hurricane Gemma. And it turns out it wasn't Hurricane Gemma we no. had to worry about. It was Hurricane Jax. Right. Hurricane Jackson, tropical storm, Nero. Yes. Uh, thunderstorm, Nero, maybe. Right. Um, and so, Tornado Terra. Yeah. Oh, boy. So let's... Although, uh, how scary, and I'd say Chrissy put it best, you really, did, what, was it you said you wouldn't want to yeah. open the door. That was Chrissy. Like Margaret, open oh the door. Oh, my God. And the reveal is The Gemma. last person I ever wanted yeah, to see. Yeah, she walks into her office, slam. Yep. Hi. Last Hi, person. Oh. That's when you run. Mm hmm Well, she couldn't run. She was blocking the door. And she got all the info she needed. Mm-hmm. Red. Red. Red, Red got caught red-handed. Yep. And uh, now Gemma, armed with this information, she's, you know, she's gonna, she's like, I'm gonna tell Jax. Jax still wants nothing to do with her. But we have Nero back in the mix this Tried. week. And, you know, our guardian angel, our altruistic guy, you know, he can't. He sees what this is doing to Gemma, and he feels responsible for her happiness and for the future of their family. And he's just he's just trying to make it right, but he's stepping on Jax's toes, and Jax isn't having it. But he's doing the right thing, and Jax is so stubborn and not open-minded because he's so blinded by everything in life right now that Nero was doing the right thing by mm. going to him and be Like, Nero really has been trying to be that father figure to Jax and to show him the right way to do things. I mean, all the way back when he brought him to the sun and you know what I mean? Like he's yeah. really trying to point him in the right direction because he knows and we all know and we all said it tonight, Jax really does have a good heart. He really does mean well. He I'm just you screws that. Yeah. up a lot. I'm glad tonight. you said that. Yeah, because we had some people disagree <laughs> with that. I was trying no. to say the same thing. With it, my, you know, my, Christy, when you weren't here, I was saying within this world, Yes. Okay, I mean, sure. B p put him in, you know, a, a normal community with regular civilians. Yeah, you know what? He's killed a few people and it's yeah, not I a mean, bad thing. Yeah, we're talking about but the president a of a motorcycle game Right, here. in the it's, microcosm, it's, it's not in this world, absolutely. Right. In and this world, yes, he's not clay. No, and he's always trying to do things for the better. He just has a really altered view of what that is. Sure. And I feel like with within the Nero going to both Jax and Tara, he was doing the right thing because for some reason he brings out the best in Gemma. He really brings out a side to Gemma mm. that us viewers have never seen I mean, before. She, she was. You said it, Chrissy. She's like, she's gonna be honest right now. She and has she was. to. There's yeah. some. I don't she know. She can't what it lie is. to him. No, it's amazing. It's, it's brilliant. It's it's fantastic and. We got some answers tonight that we've been waiting six years to get. Yeah. And, and yeah. by the way, the, you know, the, we shouldn't ignore the symbolism of church and religion. And the, uh, Gemma praying. That's what I mean, Gemma top. praying. Uh, 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 Nero being called a guardian angel. And, you know, her, it's almost like I don't want to lie to Jesus. You know, yeah. I don't want to lie to a priest kind of thing. And she, anyway, it's interesting that she just spills it all to him. And yeah. we all believe her, correct? Yeah. We don't, be, we don't think that she, she killed JT, but she gave the blessing. She gave the blessing. She talked about it openly. She allowed it to happen and encouraged Instead it. Instead of gave the blessing. Yeah. You go know, ahead. Go take him out. Right. Which I could see why Clay would say, if Jax were to find that out, imagine saying to your son, you know, I'm gonna, saying, the imagine a son knowing that the mother gave the blessing to kill the yeah. father. You know, guilty by accessory. Like that's the thing. She may not have. She may not have swung the sword. But she's just as responsible as Clay. She called for it. And the episode's called John 832 because you were just talking about the church and religion. And John 832 is, then you will know the truth and the truth will set you free. And wasn't, that, wasn't that in the... And that, um, was the entire, that was in the church yeah. scene as well. Yeah. Which I mean, that's the entire that? episode was about finding the truth. And, and the truth does set you free. And unfortunately, maybe not so much for Tara. Yeah. Well, that's... She that's may a, not be so free. It's a prison of her own making. 
It's a prison of her own making. And now, uh, after Jax, uh-huh. after Jax finally uh-huh. understands what's going on, and just ooh, that scene with Lowen absolutely chilling mm-hmm. uh when he pulls I the thought, gun on her. and i thought great writing because i'm saying to myself oh my god Ansa, you would let this go down but as soon no, as she leaves yeah. the trailer he says okay as promised no one gets hurt mm-hmm. yeah and it's, just an amazing performance from robin weiger i was just gonna yep. say yep. who i would not have said throughout this series has been like anything amazing but tonight that she just she was really she was really good. Good job. She was yeah. right there, you know, like a one hundred percent believable, grounded. And I was scared to death for her. Um, yeah. can I, okay, so so we were early in the episode, you know, Chrissy, you had said, and I hope this, you know, you don't get mad at me for saying no, this, but you said Tara's Tara, evil. Tara's evil, mm. and then you're saying, uh, uh, mad how Tara has created this prison of her own design. Yeah. But I'm just gonna give you the flip. This okay. is what I want you to consider, and I that she's dealing this is a doctor who she to me her the initial crime she's guilty of is falling in love with her high school sweetheart um who happens to be a biker outlaw and she wants to protect these children from Mm -hmm. Gemma, who is i mean other than with nero she's effing psychotic yeah would you so you would you guys you I, okay? I'm not. Even, I know you guys would never. You would probably cringe at the thought of Gemma raising your two babies. Oh, 100. When I say she's evil. So that. So what I'm saying is, and I'm finishing. I want to hear what you guys have to say. What I'm saying is, she just had to raise the stakes in her game. To to okay, I'm I'm fighting this enemy, and you know now I've got to bring it. I don't want to drop an atom bomb. You know, you know, I don't want to kill all these people, but I have to now to win the war. It's a preemptive right. strike. So to me, it's it's the only other alternative was either to kidnap the children, which the kids would have been on the run the rest of their lives. It would have been hell or leave. But then the kids are left to, to those devices or stay and just watch, I guess, stay. And, and but then you'd maybe go to jail and these kids are raised by this psychotic she wolf. So. You know, I feel like this. I feel bad for her. I feel like she's doing what she has to do to save her kids. She, but she is going against now, not just Gemma, but Gemma and Jackson. I mean, now it's. Uh, it's I have something on but that. But go ahead. Point. So now I, that's no, my. No, no, no. Well, and I, when I say she's evil, I don't mean. I, I understand what she's, she's doing. She's protecting her baby. She's though. doing all she can do at this point. When mm-hmm. you're dealing with. And, you know, let's not forget that when she was making all these plans, she thought she was going to jail. This right. was not, I'm doing this. This is a woman who tried everything. She talked to Jax. She went to Jax. Jax promised her they were going to do this and get out and everything was going to be fine and it hasn't happened. And now it's come to the point where they're no longer safe. She may have to go to jail for the club. She needs to protect them. When I say she's evil, it's almost good because I, I can't even believe that she was able to do some of the things she, she yeah. was because I didn't think she had it in her. The Tara from season one and season two yes. and even season three, I could have never but seen But she's her been going like groomed to, yes. to be tough. Look at what yes. she's been through. And when you're protecting your kids, yeah. you're going to do everything you can. And here's what blew me away with this episode tonight. Even at the beginning with the back and forth with Tara and Jax and with Gemma and Nero, it amazes me how all of a sudden this week Tara looks crazy and Gemma looked sane tonight. Mm-hmm. I know it's a stretch, no, but I tonight know. that's know. what we saw. Yeah. All right. So I have a larger point that uh, I want to discuss that you kind of inspired the both of you. Um, so we're talking about uh, Tara not wanting these two kids to be raised by Gemma, that she's psychotic, uh, and that she's done all these horrible things. And we talked about Jax having a good heart. He doesn't always make the best decisions. This life, he was born into it. He was raised in it. You know, his, his moral compass will forever be skewed, and he's always going to be fighting between those two disparate instincts. You know, the one that the club comes first no matter what. And, you know, that violence can be uh, a necessary uh, action. And, you know, the heart that says, you know, love thy brother, you know, do the right thing, legitimate business, so on and so on and so forth forever until the end of time. Here's the thing. If Tara went to prison and Gemma raised these kids, they would grow up in the same culture of violence and the same outlaw culture that Jax grew up in because Gemma not only let it happen, she kind of encouraged it. You know, would would Jax 
her uh, Tara's high school sweetheart, would he have wound up, you know, in the club life, having killed all these people, if Gemma had left with him back when John died, or years ago, or, or you know, had just divorced John and left the club? Of course. You know, so it's 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 a larger thing than just like, oh, she's crazy. She wants a different life for these kids. That's that's why she's leaving Jax anyway. If she doesn't wind up in prison, she doesn't want to be there with Jax. She doesn't want the kids to grow up around yeah, Jax. Yeah, right. And right. I, she wants I, them to have a shot. And I of get course. it. And I, but see, I get yeah. it. And I get you're going to do anything you can yeah. for your babies. For sure. To not have this. And Yeah. yeah and, and she had Jax's support at one time in doing that. And Let's man, not she, forget. She we, seemed, he had Jax's support. And yeah. we saw... We saw Jack struggle tonight, and 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 maybe other people don't, are not going to agree with me. But when Jax was sitting in that candy shop at the end of this episode, what I saw was a man with an internal struggle because yes. he yes. Yes. wants to go home and beat the ever living daylights out of her mm -hmm. because she's trying to do this. But then there's that they've had this conversation. He was okay with her leaving at one point. She's doing this to save her children from this life. Once we saw this little girl it, tonight it, who's crazy. Right, right. He has to look at these situations and say, are my kids going to end up like this? Is my kid going to go shoot a school? Is my kid going to end up going and breaking windows? And, so it, and it all comes down to low end because when Lowen said he was afraid uh, Gemma w was going to take the yes. children you know, from her. He didn't want Gemma to have the kids. And, and it, so it wasn't, Jack, she hates you, despises no. you, yep. wants to it's punish you. It's all about these kids. No, it's about, and that's what makes, it's that's what's conflicting him along with all the crazy yeah. kids yeah. he's seen. The, de the deception this is what he, what he hates. The deception is what he's upset with. But he understands her reasoning and I think in some ways even supports it. He understands why to the point that he can't bring this himself. This is a conflict. And, yeah. you know, we see her at home with the baby and a gun. Yeah. Ugh. A huge Japan pistol. Yeah. Well, because Jax won't song. touch her if she's holding the baby. Right. Sweet. Jax won't touch her if she's holding a gun. I mean, yeah, he Both will. Both the gun and the baby. <laughs> yeah. The gun it's won't a, stop It's a run. devastating the combo. The baby will. All right. I think it's time we move into predictions. And now. Your After Buzz TV predictions. They're all going to die. No, I'm just kidding. I'm totally just kidding. I'm now sorry. Now we got a long <laughs> way to go. Yeah. Yes. All right. Thankfully. So we saw a lot of things happening oh. in next week's episode. Looks like Clay's getting released early. Finally. Oh, oh, right. I want Clay out. I want him interacting. And I feel like we heard Patterson say that Tara wasn't going to go to jail, too. I feel like we heard something about her not going to jail. I think she's going to be telling uh tara that she's not going to jail yeah uh, or at least she's gonna have a scene with her next week which means she's still alive next week that's a plus that's a plus um so we're gonna we're gonna have tara and patterson talking we got galen back on the scene they're trying to make this whole deal happen something's definitely gonna go wrong at the 11th hour uh Always god does. only knows it's hard to listen if i knew and i haven't heard back from anyone i know and i think i think if I haven't, that means they they're doing this on purpose. Yeah, they want to keep it cryptic for whatever reason. But like I said, only eleven are listed on Wikipedia. If it's 13. eleven, then I could give you more, more. I could give you more accurate predictions. If it's thirteen, uh, it's a little loser. So yeah. I don't know. At, at eleven, um, you know, a lot's going to get resolved in the ne these next two episodes. And then there's going to be a ginormous cliffhanger, and I love those. Yeah, well, I think I think some of those other subplots now bubble up. Exactly. All right, guys. <sighs> Uh, Chrisley, where can the people find you? You guys can find me on Twitter and Instagram at Chrisley, and Monday through Friday you can watch me on AMC Movie Talk. All right, Kevin. At Undergaro. All right. I saw you tweet yesterday. I was so proud you of you. You tweeted? I'm learning you how did. to do it. I'm starting to learn. So yeah. proud. I'm learning so how to do proud it. Of Finally. You. Yeah. It's uh yeah, and also I uh, Boardwalk Empire and I do board uh and I do bar rescue. All right. Uh, and you can find me on Twitter at Matt Lieberman. That's M-A-T-T-L-I-E-B-E-R-M-A-N. You can also find me here on AfterBuzz TV on Sleepy Hollow and Marvel's Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. If you're watching live, I'll be on for the next two hours. Uh, thank <laughs> nice. you guys. Yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching or listening, and we will see you next Thanks, week. Thanks, Marissa. Night. From executive producers Maria Menounos, Kevin Undergaro, Phil Svitek, and the entire AfterBuzz TV staff, we would like to thank you for listening to the AfterBuzz TV network. To watch or listen to other after shows and post comments or questions, be sure to visit AfterBuzzTV.com. I'm Sir Richard Wentworth, and this has been a presentation of AfterBuzz TV.
Buzz, Buzz you later. later. The views expressed herein are those of the hosts only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principals.